Tropic Thunder, a movie I think most people like. It's a really funny movie. A movie that you could never make today for certain reasons, mostly because of Robert Downey Jr.'s role. Imagine if this movie came out today, the insanity that it would cause. And I I think it would cause a lot of insanity. People would be going crazy. Some people find this movie for the first time and then post about it on Twitter, and it's hilarious every time. Like some rando, blue-haired, nose-ring mafia person finds this movie for the first time, posts about it, and then they get wrecked because everybody's like, yeah, it's just a movie. 2008, is that when this came out? Yeah, 2008. Doesn't seem like that long ago, does it? But in 2008, you could actually make movies like this. Not so much anymore. Just want to point out, this was directed by Ben Stiller and written by Ben Stiller and starring Ben Stiller. He's made some good stuff, not, no doubt. Uh, but when we go into what I'm about to talk about, the Robert Downey Jr. role starts to make a little bit more sense, and I'm kind of surprised Ben Stiller himself didn't take that role. So the reason I'm talking about this is because recently, uh, Ben Stiller did a Kamala Harris fundraiser called Comics for Harris. And I think they raised like $150,000 or something. No, they raised a lot more than that. I'm sorry. That's the money that Ben Stiller donated. So he matched somebody's donation and said the craziest rant. So TMZ has it here. I'm all in for Kamala. Wish I was black instead of Jewish. (laughs) So this is pretty, this is pretty wild. This is directly what he said. It's, this is a little abbreviated. I'm going to play you the whole clip just so you have it. It's about 39 seconds long. And here he is. This is this is Ben Stiller himself. Take, take a listen. Get out and vote and donate. Um, and she's also a, a historic candidate. You know, it's going to be the first woman president. Um, and that's incredibly exciting. And, you know, She's Indian, she's black, she's everything. You can be more than one thing. It's incredible. You know, I'm Jewish and Irish. Um, I wish I was black. Every white Jewish guy wishes he was black. Um, you know, it's just get out there and, and, and vote and donate and like take advantage. This is such an important time right now. And this, this, with this wave of energy that's happening, we got, got to keep going with it. So please do everything you can. Pretty interesting commentary here by Ben Stiller and I wanted to talk about this because it just shows you how strange and politically wild people are in Hollywood so we have Benny Johnson reacting Ben Stiller made Tropic Thunder Tropic Thunder had a guy playing a black guy it all makes sense now you never go full blank 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 and this movie starts to make more sense now. <laughs> he's not he's not wrong. The political environment today is a wild one. And he So here's the thing. In 2016, Hollywood burned down a lot of its mystique, its coolness, if there even was any left, because they all decided to go pro establishment. And it's not that they weren't pro-establishment before 2016. It's more so that they were quadrupling down on it. And it's it's been awful ever since. There's no real movie stars anymore. And I've talked about that before. They just don't really exist. There's a couple left. I would say Tom Cruise, definitely a movie star. Now, he had his little breakdown when he was jumping on Oprah's couch. But he's, for the most part kind of turned himself around and like you never hear from him unless it's him going wild for some movie or doing a stunt and jumping off of shit. You never really hear Tom Cruise give it his opinion on anything anymore. I think he realized that he was damaging his brand and walked it back. And most people don't even talk about his wild shit anymore. Uh, But the rest of them, 
when Hollywood is in the worst place it's ever been, uh, are just continuing to melt down and say wild shit like this. Like, this is crazy shit to say. Why do you want to change identities? Is it so that you could make videos like Amanda Steinberg and dance like a flopping car salesman floaty thing? You know, those incredibly wavy arm guys. It is kind of what she was dancing like in that video. So, Ben Stiller probably was always insane, but it's just funny to see their masks come off even more because they're so desperate to create this energy for Kamala Harris. And by the way, he donated he donated $150,000 of his money to Harris to match somebody else's. So I thought this comics for Kamala thing was going to be like a stand-up event. No, it was just all them crying in a Zoom call. It was all them crying in a Zoom call. And these things, amazing. It's it's amazing how much money they bring in. I, I don't know if they hit that goal or not, current goal. Oh, they raised 463000 And then they do these little goals to keep raising the the bracket up. Huh. Interesting. Whoopi Goldberg was there, too. She probably wasn't telling many jokes. She hasn't been funny in a long time. She used to be pretty good. Was in a lot of good stuff. Star Trek, a Ghost, a few other movies. Now she just sits on The View and farts and says stupid shit all the time. Wild stuff, too, by the way. I'm surprised Ben Stiller would talk to her after that crazy shit she was saying, uh... Man, I forget what she was saying. She was saying some some stuff about World War II events that would have gotten anybody else in Hollywood banned. But not Whoopi, though. She's too useful, I guess. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'd like to hear from you in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Hit that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.